Hello everyone and welcome. Good to see you. Today I have a fantastic tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how I created this landing page. In fact, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the landing page. Uh, as you can see, we have a nice beautiful image here. Uh, we also have some text, the heading and the subheading and a call to action button. On the bottom here, we have a section which has the most requested recipes. I'm going to show you how to create this. And then finally on the bottom here, we've created this page where it showcases who the chef is. So this is where your image would go. And then on the top here, we also have maybe a name, a description, and also a video. Now this video here has, a, has an overlay image. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then finally over here, we have these social media icons. So this can link to your social media profiles. So this is what we'll be creating today. So I'm going to be using Divi to create this. So if you want to uh, buy Divi or use Divi for your web design uh, processes, I highly recommend it. And I have something fantastic for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my full Divi Blueprint 3 course. This is a course which teaches you everything that you need to know about designing websites using Divi. It's a complete course. You will get it absolutely free if you use my affiliate link, which I've added in the show notes below. Okay, let's get started. Let me show you how I managed to create this page. So first of all, before we begin, I want to talk about the images. So what makes your website look really, really awesome and professional is using high res images. So online, there are a few resources where you can go to and download all your images absolutely free. So you can use these images for your personal or commercial projects. So one of the websites is Pixabay. Another one is called uh, pexels.com. I will also leave a link to those websites in the show notes below. Okay. So uh, this is the website I go to. So in this uh, project, what I did is I came over here and I just searched for food. Okay, so you can go through this and see what type of images you want to use for your project, but this is the best place to come. So uh, if you click here on this image, you'll notice that you'll have this, this uh, green button which says free download. So when you click on it, it also shows you the sizes. So what you don't want to do is to choose the highest size here. It's really unnecessary. So 1920 by 1270, that will work really fine for our large images. If you're going to use smaller images on your website, you can just download the appropriate size. And this is very, very important because if you choose the high res images, it's going to make your website really, really slow. So once you download these, you can always add them onto your website. Okay. So the next stage now is let's go ahead and start building our page. So I'm going to come over here to my admin dashboard. So I, ha I already have Divi installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and build my pages. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new page. And I'm also going to give my page a name. So I'm going to call this, uh, what can we call it? Let's call it Mac food. Okay. Next I'm going to click on use Divi builder. So now we're going to have three options. We are either going to clone an existing page, choose a pre-made layout and build from scratch. So because I want to show you step by step how to build this page from scratch, I, I want to show you that process. So we're going to start to build this page from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch. And then the first thing I'm going to do is to add two columns. So I'm going to go ahead and click to my two columns here. And then over here on the left column, uh, the first thing we're going to add is a text module. This is where our heading is going to go. So I'm going to search for my module here. There we go. It's a text module. I'm going to select it. And then uh, this is where our heading is going to go. So I'm going to delete most of this text here. And then I'm going to come over here to, in fact, I'm going to highlight all this text and then click on this drop down where it says paragraph because we need to choose heading one because this is going to be our main heading. Okay. So what you can do also here is you can use lorem text if you don't want to use uh, the default text that comes with it, because this can also give you an idea of how this is going to look. So I'm just going to copy my lorem text over here and then I'm just going to paste it and replace and my text over here. Okay. So making sure it's set to heading one, we're going to come over here to design and then we're going to go to heading text. So you can see here heading one is selected. So now I'm going to choose the font that I'm going to go with for this design. And uh, in this case, I'm going to go with poppins. Uh, we're going to make it uh, nice and bold here. So I'm going to go for ultra bold and then we're going to boost up the size. Okay. So you want it nice and big. So I'll say about 52 looks great. Okay. I'm happy with that. 
Uh, let's go ahead and save this, okay? And then we're gonna come over here, highlight this area here. This time we're gonna add a description paragraph. So we're gonna click this plus button. So for the description paragraph, it's gonna be a text module. So I'm gonna search for it again one more time, select it, come over here to lorem 2, and this is going to be my description text. So I'm just gonna copy it here like that. Then I'm gonna overwrite this like that. So this is fine, this is description text, so it can just go in as it is, like this. Now we're gonna come over here to design text and uh, we're gonna make this slightly bigger. Let's make it about uh, 19. We're gonna change our font here to Poppins. And by the way, these fonts are Google fonts, so you can just go ahead and use them uh, by just searching over here, okay? All right, so now that I have this, now just looking at that, I can see my lines are way too close together. So what I wanna do is to just uh, give them some breathing space. So to do that, you wanna come over here to text line height, okay? So set it to 1.8, and now you can see it's much easier to read. Okay, great. Uh, over here, uh, in fact, the size looks okay. That's fine, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so the next stage now is to add our background image, okay? That image that makes everything look really, really awesome. So I'm gonna come over here to uh, this section settings, click here on this gear icon, click on background, and then I'm gonna go on the third tab, okay? So this is where I'm gonna click this plus button and choose my image. So I've already got my image here in my media library, but in your case, if you don't have your image in the media library, you wanna come over here to upload files, okay? So once you click upload files, in fact, let me show you what it looks like. If you click on select files, this is gonna take you to um, wherever you've downloaded all your images, and then this is where you can just come in, click the, uh, click the image, and then upload it, okay? So as I mentioned, I have all my images in the media library. So I'm gonna click here on my main image and you can see here the size is 1920 by 1228. That's, that's perfect. Click upload an image. Okay, now our image is in the background. But you know what? We have a problem. We can't read this text on this background. So this is where we want to add our gradient, which uh, separates the uh, text from our image. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is to come over here to design, spacing, and I'm gonna add some padding first. So I'm gonna add 10%, okay, because we wanna give this some breathing space. We want to really show the food uh, on that hero area. Okay, so now that I've added this, I'm really happy with that. I'm just gonna save this for now because I wanna go ahead and add my, my call to action button. So I'm gonna click this plus button, and then I'm gonna search for button, okay? Go ahead with that, select my button. So by default, this button comes here. It's really boring. It doesn't really look exciting. So we can actually go in and make some changes to this. So to, do, to make some changes to this, we're just gonna, in fact, let's just give this a title of uh, download recipes here, okay? Download recipes here. Okay, so let's say that's gonna be our call to action. Okay, so, over here is where you add your link. So this is where you want to uh, direct people to the download page where they can download that uh, recipe. But this call to action can be anything, okay? It can be click here to, to uh, get in touch with us or whatever it is, and then that can link to the contact page. All right, so we're gonna keep things simple here. I'm just gonna add a blank link. Next, I'm gonna come over here to design. So over here, I'm gonna click on button. So this is very important. To make changes to your button, you wanna make sure you click on use custom styles for button. And then over here on the text color, we're gonna make it white. And then for the background color, we're gonna start giving it, uh, let's give it a red, okay? I really like that red because it's, uh, it's an appetizing color. It goes with uh, food and it also goes with some of the shades of uh, food that we have here in the hero area. Okay, so the next stage here is to add a border. So again, I'm gonna add my border, make it um, red. Um, and then uh, the next stage is to customize our text. So I'm gonna scroll down further down here, make sure my font is set to Poppins, just to keep everything consistent. Uh, I can also make this all caps if I want to. In fact, I think that looks better. And then for the weight, I'm gonna keep it at medium. Uh, let's see what it looks like on uh, semi-bold. In fact, I'll leave it at semi-bold. So that is looking great. Now over here, you can actually change your, your button on hover. So you can see now it's an arrow. So it's up to you if you wanna use something different. Okay, so now that we have our call to action button, everything looks uh, really, really good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save. 
So the next stage now is to really add a gradient which is going to separate our text from our image background. So we want our text to be able to, uh, to be easy to, uh, to read. So what I'm gonna do is to go back over here into my uh, section settings, click on background, and then I'm gonna click the second tab. Now this tab here is the gradient tab. Click this plus button and I'm gonna add my first color and my first color here is gonna be black, okay? Over here, I'm gonna add my second color. I'm gonna make it black as well. And then I'm gonna come over here to place gradient above background image, okay? So if I do this, everything's gonna go really dark black and you'll be like, wow, what's happening over there? Right, anyway, what is, what is happening here is we've placed our gradient above, but we're gonna add some transparency so that we can start seeing the image in the background. Okay, so let's start by adding it on the second color over here. So I'm gonna drag this slider down like that. And as you can see now, it's starting to show. So keep going, keep going. I think I'll stop right there at uh, 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.39. And then over here, this is where we wanna play with our gradient direction. So I'm just gonna flip it around here. Let's see, 122. So I'm gonna try 73. Um, okay, that looks, that doesn't look too bad. And then over here, I am going to play around with my end position because I don't want it to go all the way and cover all the, uh, the, uh, the beautiful image that we have in the background. Okay, and also our start position here, I can just increase that a little bit like that. And then I'm also gonna adjust my uh, angle here. So I think I'm pretty happy with 80 degrees. Okay, so as you can see here, over here on the, on the left, it's really, really, really dark. So we may not want it really dark like that. Our main, our main aim here is just to let our text um, uh, much easier to read. So I'm gonna click here on this, on this uh, first color here, this black, and add some transparency to it. So I'm gonna drag this down just a little bit, okay? I think this is fine. Okay, I'm gonna go with that 87. So now we have a gradient over here where we have our text. So the next stage now is to go in and change the color of our text. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon to go into my um, text settings, click on design, heading text, and then we're gonna change this to white. Okay, so now you can see it really stands out. Right, I'm gonna save that come over here to my description text, do the same thing, click here on my module settings, click on design, text, we're gonna change this to white, and now things are much easier to read. Okay, so let's save that. The final thing I'm gonna do now is to go into our section, uh, into our row settings. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on row settings, design, sizing. So over here on the custom width, I prefer to have my custom width at 70%. That just stretches it a bit more, taking up a bit more space on my uh, hero area. Okay, so I'm gonna change this unit to percentage and then I'm gonna enter 70%. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. So pretty much that's it, okay? So our hero area is done. Now it's time to move on to the next part, which is the second section where we're going to uh, add some images where people can uh, click on, you know, the most um, exciting recipes. Okay, so let's add our section. So I'm gonna click this plus button. I'm gonna click here on a regular section. And because we're gonna add a title here, we just need one column. So let's go ahead and add that. And in that column, we're gonna need a text module. I'm gonna search for it and select it. Click on text. And then over here, we're going to add a title. And our title is gonna be most requested recipes. So we want people to see our most requested recipes from our website. But again, you know, you can use these techniques to add any form of content on that area. The most important thing here is just to take a look at the steps that I'm taking to design this page. So these are the steps that you 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 know you need to take uh, designing any type of page. All right, so now that I have this in place, again, we're gonna set this to heading two. So I'm gonna come over here, set this to heading two. Okay, that's looking great. I'm gonna come over here to design um, heading text. Click on heading two, and then we're gonna change our font here to Poppins. But this time, we are going to set this to light. Okay, that looks much better. Uh, change the color to red. We're gonna center this, so I'm gonna come over here to heading two, text alignment, center that. Okay, and let's see what happens if you make it all caps. Mm. All right, let's go with all caps, all right? 
And then over here on the uh, letter two, heading two letter spacing, we're just gonna add some letter spacing there, increase the size a little bit, like that. So I think 32 is better, okay? So we're gonna go with 32. So I'm pretty much happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save. The next thing we're gonna add here is a divider. So I'm gonna come over here, search for my divider, select it. Now we need to customize this divider. So if you wanna go with a, with a line that goes across, you know, it's up to you, but I wanna show you how to actually make it smaller. So we're gonna come over here to design color. So we can start here by adding a color. So let's say you wanna go for a darker red, you know, we're gonna go with that. Click on styles. So over here it's on solid, that's great. So now we're gonna go to sizing. So on the weight here, we can increase it to about three. And uh, let's reduce the height, okay? Because we don't want the height too much. And then the width is what determines uh, how long this line is. So we're gonna come down to about 16% and center it, okay? So that is how you add your divider line. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do now is to just save this. And then we are going to add another row, but this time we're gonna have some columns in there. So I'm gonna click this plus button and uh, we're gonna have four columns. Right, so in each column, we're gonna have a blurb. So I'm just gonna search for a blurb. I'm gonna select it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get rid of all this text, right? Cause we're not gonna need that. And then for the title here, let's call this recipe one. Okay, so this is, this is the title of the recipe. So we can just give it a name. In fact, you know what, to make this even more exciting, let's just give this a name, you know, something that just looks like a name, okay? So I'm gonna copy it from my lorem text there and add my name like that. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to uh, center it. So I'm gonna come over here to design, title text, we're gonna center it. And let's go ahead and customize it. So first of all, we're gonna change our font here to Poppins. We're gonna make it bold. Uh, let's change the color. Okay, I, like, I really like that. Okay, now back over here to the content. Now let's add our image. So I'm gonna click here on image and icon. Click on this area here. So now let's add our images. So I'm gonna go with my first one here. So I'm gonna go with, uh, let's see what I'm gonna go with. Okay, let's go with this crab. Okay, click upload an image. So now my image has been added. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now, the most important thing now is to go in and copy this uh, design that we've just done or these or this image that we've just done because it saves us a lot of time to go in each and every image, change the font, change the size uh, across all the four images. So the quickest way is to just uh, duplicate this three times and then drag it into the right column, like that. Okay, great. So now that we've done that, all we have to do now is to go into each and every image and then just change it, okay? So I'm gonna come over here to image and icon, click on this area here, change my image, upload. I'm gonna save that, come over here to the next one, click on this gear icon, image and icon, Click in this area here and add the next one, upload an image. So you can see here, it's really, really fast. So I'm gonna click on the last one here, image and icon, and then I'm gonna add this one here. So these are the three, I mean the four recipes. Great, so let me go ahead and save. And then the next thing I'm gonna do now is to come over here to my section settings. Now remember, on our on the top here, we set it to 70%, so we really wanna keep that consistency. So we're gonna go ahead and add 70% there. So we're gonna come over here to background. No, we need to go to design, sizing, uh, use custom width, and we're gonna set this to unit to percentage, and then we're gonna set this to 70%. Okay, that's looking great. Let's go ahead and save. Now, the final thing is, we can see here the names are all the same, so I'm gonna come to Lorem 2, and uh, I'm just gonna copy some text here, and just go in. So this time I'm doing what is known as inline editing, so I can actually go in and paste over the, the text that I need to add in there.
Okay, let's go with another name here. So I'm just pretending these are the names of the recipes. Okay, so again, I'm gonna click here, highlight this text, paste. And then finally, uh, let's go with something that looks like a name here. I'm gonna copy that, come over here, click on this area, paste. Great, so now this is looking like a proper recipe. Now, you know what? As I'm looking to the, uh, at the top here, this doesn't look right. So I'm just gonna go back in and uh, make some changes to this, okay? So I'm gonna come over here to design, heading text. I know this is heading two. So what I'm gonna do is instead of adding letter spacing, I'm gonna actually get rid of it and then make the text slightly bigger. So I'm gonna go with 40 here, okay? And for the letter spacing, I'm going to try and bring the, the text even closer. Minus two. Okay, let's try minus one. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so I think that looks, yeah, much better. All right, so uh, the, t uh, the text as well, I mean the color, uh, I'm going to make it a bit darker as well. Because we've got too much red here. Okay, so that looks much better. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, now that I have this section, it's looking really, really nice. The next stage is to add the page where the chef goes and also the description and the video. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button. I'm gonna click on regular and uh, we're gonna need two columns here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my two columns. So in the first column, we're gonna add an image. I'm gonna select it. And then I'm just going to look for my image, which is right here. Upload an image. Okay, so now I have my image here of the chef. That's looking great. I'm going to save. The next stage, while we're, while we're at it, I'm going to click here on this uh, gear icon for my row settings. Again, I'm going to set my um, sizing custom width to 70%. Okay, so I'm going to change this unit to 70 to percentage and set it to 70. So this now just makes everything all, you know, uh, in the same sort of width. My content width is all gonna be the same. Right, so now that we have this in place, the next stage here is to add uh, the text where the name is going to go. So I'm gonna click here on text for my text settings. I'm gonna come over here, look for something that looks like a name. Let's see. Okay, so let's go with that. And we sort of pretend that this is going to be the name of our chef. Highlight that, delete all that, and paste my text here. Uh, let's give this a capital letter V, okay? So I'm gonna highlight all this and give it a heading one. And then I'm gonna come over here to design text. So we are on heading one. So let's go to Poppins and uh, let's make this nice and big. So we're gonna go with 40. Uh, I think for this, let's try and make this light. Yeah, I think that looks okay. And then for the color, we're gonna go with a dark red. So I'm just gonna select this red first and then drag this down. Okay, we're gonna go with that and then we're gonna save. Next, we're gonna add another text module. So I'm gonna click this plus button, text, select that. We're gonna go to lorem 2. We're gonna copy some text from here come back over here and paste my text like that. Now, in your case, you wanna be adding the text that's gonna go along with your website. So that your website description, this is where you want to type in your actual text for your website. So the reason why I'm just using this Lorem uh, 2 text is just to save me from typing because that would have made this tutorial way, 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 way longer. So this is a good way of just putting some dummy text. So in fact, I'm gonna be sharing this layout so uh, you can actually use this and replace the text with your text. All right, so I've got this in place. The next thing I'm gonna do now is come over here to design text. We're gonna choose our font here. We're gonna choose Poppins. We're gonna make it slightly bigger. Okay, we're gonna go with 18. We're gonna give it some line height, like that, so it's easier to read. Okay, so that's looking great. The next thing I'm gonna do now is to just uh, come over here to sizing. No, in fact, we need to go to spacing. So this gap here between the name and the uh, paragraph is a bit too much, so we wanna reduce that. So we're gonna go the opposite direction. Minus 22 looks great. Right, so uh, the text also, the color, Let's change the color. 
Um, we're going to go with a really dark reddish color here, like that. Okay, that's looking good. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and save. All right. The next stage now is to add our video. So I'm going to click this plus button, add our video module. I'm going to go ahead and choose video. Now, here's the thing. If you want to add your own video, because this is the default video that comes in as a placeholder. So if you want to add your own video, you click here on this gear icon, insert URL, and this is where you paste your URL from YouTube or whatever your video is. It may be Vimeo as well. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to come over here now. And this is the most important part. You see, when your video comes from YouTube like this, um, the thumbnail that comes with it doesn't really look nice because it's got text on top of it. It's not high res. So Divi now allows you to add an overlay image. So if you come over here to overlay, click this plus button, we can actually choose an image to go with that. So let's say uh, we want to go with this one here. Or let's go with this one right here. Upload an image. So you see now it has a thumbnail, which is high res, and you also have this beautiful overlay color, and you also have this play button. So this is really, really nice. I really like um, what Divi has done here to add our images. Okay, great. So I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now let's move on to the next step. And this time we are going to add our social media icons. So let's add our social media icons. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button to add our social media module. I'm going to click here on social media follow. So you can see here by default, uh, we have these two, we have Twitter and Facebook. So over here, we can add some more by just clicking this plus button and just clicking on this drop down and then choosing you know, the one we need. So I've just added Instagram. And what you may also want to do here is to add the URL to your Instagram account. This is very important. You want to add it over here. Okay. And then I'm just going to click this little arrow to go back, click this plus button, and we're going to add another one. Uh, okay, so which one can this be? Pinterest is a good one, okay? So I think four will do for now. I'm going to go ahead and save. So those are our social media icons. Right, so now let's add another design here. So the design is going to go on the, the section. So I'm going to click here on my section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to click over here on this gradient. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add two colors and add a design element to the back, I mean, to the background of our design. So my first color here is going to be a very light gray. Okay, so we're going to go with that. And then our second color here is going to be this red. So by default, it gives you a very smooth gradient. So that's not what we want here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around here with my direction and my end and start position. So I'm just going to drag this over here like that. Okay, so let's go to our start position. In fact, let's add our end position. So our end position here can be set to zero. This is how we get this hard edge line over here, which I think is really cool. Right, so now we can play around with the angle. Okay, so the angle can be like that. It can be even the opposite direction. So we can have it this way. In fact, this is how I had it in our demo. Right, so the start position now, you can always drag this, you know, to a position which you are really, you know, happy with. So there's a lot of flexibility here. So you can always drag it to wherever you want. So uh, let's say 50, 51%. Let's go with 52, okay? So that's our design there for our section. And then the direction here, we can also play around with that until we are happy with the direction. So I'm going to go with 130. Let's see. I'll go with 135. So I'm pretty you know, happy with that angle uh, that we have here in the background. So this is also going to serve as a design element. Okay, so now I can go ahead and save. And this is how we've created this beautiful uh, section design on our page. Okay, so pretty much this is how we create an awesome looking landing page uh, just using Divi. As you can see here, the steps were quite uh, straightforward to follow. So uh, 
I highly recommend that you go in, practice, and uh, play around with uh, these um, settings and also use your own images to design this landing page. So pretty much that's all I have for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask me all your questions. And as I mentioned, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my course. So but the affiliate link will be in the show notes below or in the video description. So all you have to do is to buy Divi using that and then once you've done that, you need to uh, send me an email or a message on uh, MacUniversity.com. On the bottom right, there is a support button there. Just send me a message saying you've bought the uh, uh, you've bought DV using my affiliate link, and then I'll give you access to my full course, which teaches you everything that you need to know if you're a beginner. So this course has everything that you need to know. We design a full working website in that course. So you can go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. So I uh, hope to see, you know, your designs. So please share your designs after you've learned, you know, this information on this page. I'll be coming up with even more designs on how to create beautiful landing pages. Take care for now and see you soon.